Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new video. I have not done a video like this, sitting and doing a voiceover in a very, very long time. I can't even think how long it's been, but I've had videos since that have not been like Sims, but Sims ones has probably nearly been a year or maybe even just like eight months or something like that. Still ridiculous. But I was just like, I really enjoy doing it and I've been really in the mood to build and I've not really had a lot of time to stream. So I thought, why not put that time that, that little bit of time that I have to good use and that, you know, wanting to build mood as well. Why not put that into recording a video, doing a voiceover, editing the video and uploading it. And yeah, so this house, I built a house very, very similar to this. If I have a picture, I'll put it up on screen and, well, no, I have a picture, but if I remember, I'll put a picture up on the screen of what it looked like before the original one I built. And I recorded it and everything like that and I was like okay I'm gonna pre-record a bunch of videos and then I don't know what happened but one day I must have been deleting files or just something and I deleted the recording. So in Resolve which is what I used to edit when you delete the files the video files um they mess up the whole editing thing editing process and it will say like you know stuff missing or media gone or whatever. So that was gone, which is great. I don't know, I don't even know when I built it. It obviously was such a long time ago, I don't even remember building it. But I um, set up the photos, so I was like, well, why not look at the photo, copy it, and then try and build a house as close as I can in The Sims again. So that's kind of what I did. So I like, what I had to do was I checked the photo and I was like, oh my God, that house is so nice, but I don't remember uploading it. I had to check through like all my YouTube videos and make sure that I hadn't so I don't accidentally like upload it twice but I have a bunch of screenshots from other houses that I might try and almost redo because obviously I have no footage of them or anything like that a lot of them I'd started to edit and then the obviously the footage is gone now and that messes up everything so that's great but I'm going to try my best to rebuild some of them but I really like this house it's not as nice as the original one that I built because I've got some CC missing, for example, um, like shutters and stuff like that. Those are missing, which is annoying because I think that it really made the front of the house, like here where I'm recolouring the, like, you know, siding and everything. I think it made that part look really nice because currently it looks kind of empty. So at the very end of the video, you see that I put like vines going up it to kind of fill up the space. I delete them because I don't like it. I don't like how the vines and the like ivy going up the walls. I don't like how that looks in uh, screenshots and stuff and in thumbnails. So I think the houses look a lot cleaner without it. So I kind of got rid of it. But other than that, there's nothing really there. So it might look a bit empty. So apologies for that. But with this house, I really liked the little porch on the left, the little deck thing there. I really like that. I never normally do things like that. Normally it's the one where you, you know, go up the steps into the main front doors and that's kind of it. Um, and I thought it would be something different. Obviously, when I was building it back then, that's what I thought. So then I thought it would be nice to continue that. Um, but yeah, this house as well will be on The Sims Resource whenever it ends up going up. It takes a while. And recently I've been putting more things up there that I've had in my like exports folder. And they will all be there basically, okay? So the link will be in the description if you wish to get that. Like, obviously it's not going to be up when the video goes up because it takes, like, it could take weeks. I have no idea. But um, as soon as it's up, I'll put a link in the description so you can, you know, keep checking and everything like that. Um, but yeah, also, yeah, I've been streaming. Obviously not too much recently. I've kind of taken Christmas off, so I'm not really streaming up to Christmas. And I'm trying to get back after Christmas. But if I enjoy this and if I end up having time to do more of these kind of videos, I definitely will because I really do enjoy them. But um, I love streaming, absolutely. And it's so nice because we're playing with the household currently. And it's we've been playing it for so long. Like since, I want to say since like April or May or maybe even March. I have no idea, but oh, like a good while ago. And we're still playing with them. Obviously, we're in the next generation now and we're about to start the third generation. But it's very exciting to just play a household and still be really interested in their story and kind of, you know, having an idea instead of doing the same thing as I always do and getting bored. It's nice to do something a bit different. Um, but yeah, I 
I really like it. And if you want to check that, any of the VODs or anything or any, you know, previous streams, they're all on my Twitch. So everything is there. Everything gets like saved there for you to go and go back and watch it. So the very beginning of the Sims 3 series that we're currently playing is all there. It's, you know what I mean, from the very beginning. So you can go and see that and check out the story. Um, but it's very interesting. But I'll never play them on YouTube because I like to keep it as a stream thing and keep it separate. And I will never play it off camera again because I want to keep it separate. And I think it's the best way to do it so that I'm not kind of getting bored of it off stream or anything like that. I'm playing it on stream and everything that happens has kind of been thought about during the streams and everything, which is really nice. And also having chat input, chat's input as well is really, really good. But yeah, also today is the 17th of December. The day I'm recording this, doing the voiceover and everything, editing it, 17th of December. Only eight days to Christmas, which is absolutely insane. So it probably will be up near to Christmas, depending on what time I plan to upload it. But I'm very excited and I hope you guys are too. Um, I think this whole year has gone so, so fast and so, so quick. Well, even though it's literally the same thing. But I, I find it crazy to think that it's been a whole year. It feels like it's been like three months or something. It's crazy, absolutely crazy. And then 2023, it's gonna be 2023 soon, which is insane. It's just so weird to think about it. And I feel like I've done nothing in this whole year because it's gone so fast and I've not had time to think. Like I remember when it was December 1st and I was like, oh my God, I hope the month goes quick because I want it to be Christmas, but I hope it doesn't go too quick because I don't want like Christmas to just fly by or anything. And um, yeah, it's flown by, it is definitely flown by. But I'm still very excited though, and I'm lo I'm looking forward to it definitely. Um, I'm finished school for Christmas on the twenty first, I think, which is a Wednesday. I want to say anyway. Um, so that is very very exciting. I'm so glad that there's very few days. There's literally three days of school, and Wednesday is a shorter day, so we're finished. Like it's basically two and a half days. And then when um, Tuesday even is like a bunch of fun things during the day, which is very, very exciting. Like our school is hosting a talent show and you can like sign up for it and everything like that. So I imagine it will be a lot of fun and I'm very excited to kind of go to it because the last time I went to it was in, or not went to it, but like the last time I um, saw a talent show in our school was 2019 and then it stopped because of COVID. Okay, so I just recorded an entire voiceover it was only like 12 minutes, 13 minutes, and only about seven minutes of it actually recorded. I don't know what happened if the recording just messed up and just, you know, stopped by itself. Oh my goodness. I didn't even talk about anything like important or crazy, but you know what I mean? It's still annoying because I sat here for 13 minutes and it wasn't even recording for five of them. But if you wanted to hear the end of that story, all I was saying, talent show, 2019, after that got cancelled because of COVID and now they're hosting it again. And what else did I even mention? I th see, I don't even know if the part, I was mentioning, talking about streaming and how streaming has helped me talk because without streaming, I was really bad at talking. I don't even know if that's like in the recording anymore, but I was just saying how I used to be so bad at talking and coming up with things to say, but streaming and recording voiceovers like this has helped me continue conversations and think things to say and things like that but I don't know if you've already heard that or not or what's happened because I actually haven't listened to all of it because I was so angry and I was like oh my god I'm not gonna sit here and listen to nine minutes of it or seven minutes whatever recorded when part of it is gone and it's just gonna end right there but apologies for that and I will, if it happens again, I'll be very annoyed, obviously, and I'll just give up. But um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll just think of something else to say or something else to talk about. Um, okay, I have no idea. What else is there even to talk about? Like there's literally nothing, but basically been in a building mood today and I built this house in about an hour and a half, which is pretty good for me. It's kind of how long it takes me to build a home normally, but I'm gonna try and build another one today and...